Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org and today we're checking out the ScanAttempt Rapid Temperature Scanner and Mask Recognition device. Now, this is a pretty intriguing device. Maybe you own a business or have an organization where you need to be, you know, knowing who's coming in with a higher temperature, uh, who is wearing a mask and who's not wearing a mask. Well, this device actually helps you to figure that out. So we're gonna give you a detailed review of ScanAttempt in terms of its functionality, its installation, things of that nature. And of course, you can get a detailed review over at security.org. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's kick off today's look at the ScanAttempt Rapid Temperature Scanner and Mass Detector by going over what we liked. And right off the bat, I have to say that I like the fact that it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. Uh, it comes out of the box, you don't have to think about anything, it immediately starts telling you whether or not your temperature is with the parameters that you've set and whether or not you're wearing a mask. And it does so with visualization and it also does so with actual audio messages. There's a voice recording that will say, hey, you're not wearing a mask or hey, you know your temperature is too high. These are really useful elements to have and we love the fact that it works like that right out of the box. Your temperature is normal. Please put your mask on. So what didn't we love about ScanAttempt? Well, it requires a moderate ambient temperature, which means that it just does not work in the freezing cold winter of Brooklyn. So we, you know, tried to just set it up outside to see if it would function correctly. And fortunately it said, hey, the ambient temperature is too low. And once we moved inside, it worked fine detecting our temperatures accurately. So what does it take to get your scan and tip up and running? Well, fortunately, this is a very easy process. When it comes to scan and temp, you basically just have one USB-C power port. And from here, you can just plug in the AC power that it comes with. And as you can see from the fact that I am just wildly waving this device around with no wire attached or to be seen, it does have battery backup. So in a pinch, you will not necessarily be without the ability to check people for masks and high temperatures. Now, when it comes to actually placing this somewhere, you're gonna use the mounting hardware that it comes with, or you can use the adhesive that they also provide you with. Now, what's interesting about the scan attempt is that you do wanna make sure it's in a well-lit area so that it can capture people's faces, you can see what's going on, and that it does have a moderate temperature so that it can accurately determine people's forehead uh, temps. So that's one element about the scan attempt that one needs to keep in mind, but generally that works pretty much anywhere inside of your business. Now, if you have some dark, scary places in your business, then you know that's definitely not where you'd want to put this device. Now I wanna talk about the functionality of scan attempt. Now, scan attempt has two core functions. One is temperature scanning, and that's probably the primary function, and the other is mass detection. Uh, now that is the only one that can actually be turned off. If you don't wanna be uh, looking for mask, you can turn it off with scan attempt. Now, what's interesting about scan attempt is that it works from just about any height. So I am 6'1", and I could stand any number of feet away from it, close to it, and it can pretty much always know what my temperature is and know whether or not I'm wearing a mask. I had my brother who's 6'3 do it, same thing, and his wife, who is probably about 5'3, also was able to stand in the same locations and it was able to determine her temperature and whether or not she was wearing a mask. So it's really advantageous to have because it doesn't require you to be in a specific spot in order for it to work or be a specific height. And I found that to be really useful. I've you know gone through airports before and you have to basically put your head right on against something or here or there. And none of that is the case when it comes to scan attempt. Now I wanna give you just a quick demo of how scan attempt functions just by holding it here in front of me. So I can take it like this and temperature is normal. Please put your mask on. Boom. So what happened here is as I was holding it in my hand, uh, it not only said your temperature was normal, but there was actually a temperature or, you know, number there that says, hey, this is what your temperature is. And the fact that I didn't have my mask on, you heard it say that you don't have your mask on, but it also outlined my face in red. So it made it clear to me that, oh, there's like a visual, uh, you know, cue there, like, oh, I should probably put my mask on as I go into this space with other people. So you're getting both visual and auditory, um, you know, actions um, with your scan attempt. 
Briefly, I wanna talk about privacy because anytime a face is being recognized, it does cause some concern and understandably in the world that we live in. However, with scan attempt, there's no real data collection. Uh, and there are a number of things you can do to help ensure that, and we're gonna go over that because honestly, you know, you may just decide, I wanna have this up in my store or organization, uh, letting me know who has a mask on, who has a high temperature, or maybe you wanna get a little bit deeper. Maybe you wanna get some emails about how many people are coming to your store. Well, that's the nitty gritty of this device. And of course, that's something that interests me. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, if you're just a consumer customer and you're going into a space, you're not gonna to have to touch this device at all. It is touchless, which is great in this day and age. Um, but if you are the owner of this device, there are a number of really cool elements you can dive into. So first, let's just talk about units. You know, this device uh, is sold in the United States and in Canada, and I'm sure other places soon. Uh, but you may wanna be like, okay, we don't really use Fahrenheit, we use Celsius or vice versa. And you can make that decision here. And I do want to point out that, yes, I got into this by pressing this uh, button here on the side of the device. There are three buttons that help you to navigate, uh, give you a few options, but it's also touch screen. So if I want to change this to Celsius, I can tap there and boom, now I've tapped it into Celsius. And I got to be, you know, up front. This is actually a pretty nice screen for such a small device. Now, uh, below that, you'll see mode. Now mode is where you decide exactly how you want to run things inside of your you know, store, food bank, hospital, clinic, whatever you happen to own. So you have guard mode, monitor mode, and alarm mode. And those will respectively give you different voice messages or no voice messages at all about what's going on. So what I was just using was guard mode where it said, this is your temperature and please put on a mask. You can have monitor mode where it's not gonna say any of that, or you can have alarm mode where it's just gonna set off an alarm in the case that people are not following along with what you deem to be the rules inside of your establishment. Now, what's great is that with this, you also have the ability to turn face mask check on or off. So if you are an establishment that really wants to ensure people are wearing face masks, you're gonna wanna have that tapped on, but if that's not your concern, you can also turn it off. Now, below that, you'll see there is a max mode. And that max mode allows you to choose the temperature at which you're kind of alerted. So if people are you know, at 100.4, okay, that's gonna let me know that they're a little high, uh, 100.8, or you can even set it as high as 101.2, uh, you know, to give some space to those that run a little hot. So you really get some variation when it comes to how you set up your own scan attempt. And it's all right here on the touch screen. Now below that, you have something called display options. And so this is what we've been doing, which is normal, which where his actual face is seen. So I see my face on the screen, but you also have a privacy mode. And that privacy mode is going to basically make it look like you know, those cool like heat sensing videos or like, you know, Predator, something of that nature. That's what you get with privacy. It's not actually gonna show your face. It's just gonna have, you know, uh, a person there and then that will tell you the temperature and whether or not they're wearing a mask. So you can't actually look at that and say, oh, I know who that is. But if you wanna keep it normal, you can also do that. And finally, they have something called traffic light. And traffic light basically just gives you these visual indicators you know, red, green, in terms of what people um, are doing when it comes to temperature and face masks, or you can just turn off the display all together. Now, finally, you do have uh, the Wi-Fi option, and the Wi-Fi option is important for those of you who would like a more detailed understanding of what's going on inside of your establishment. So what does that mean? What well, means you can get daily or hourly emails on the folks that have been too high, the folks who have not been wearing masks, um, and you can know that. Now, of course, there's no information uh, that lets you basically put that with anyone else. It is simply the people that have gone in front of it and either been wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, or the people that have gone in front of it and had a temperature too high or not too high. So you get a lot of flexibility and functionality out of the touch screen on your scan and temp device. Now I wanna give you my final thoughts on scan attempt, rapid temperature scanner, and mass detector. 
Now, I'm gonna to try to keep this brief. And the fact is, it does exactly what it should do accurately, determine your forehead temperature. It also lets you know whether or not you're wearing a mask. And I think this is important for a couple of reasons. One is the general idea that yes, uh, it helps to know uh, or make sure that people are wearing masks inside of your establishment, but also it helps to show those customers and clients that you have that you are taking this very seriously and that you're going to be able to provide them with whatever service or whatever so that you provide to them in a safe manner. And Scan Attempt does both of those things really incredibly well. All right, so you made it to the end of our look at Scan Attempt, Rapid Temperature Scanner, and Mass Detector. Now, we appreciate you for watching, and if you appreciate our video, maybe give us a like, you know, drop us a comment, we always love the feedback, and even subscribe to our channel, security.org, where we're bringing you the newest in digital and physical security each week. Now, if you would like to see any of the relevant things we talked about today, you can find them in the description below. And as always, this is security.org. My name is Gabe, and you be secure.